There's a 100 gigabyte download you have to get right now to prepare for the Black Ops 6 beta, season five reloaded, and much more. We'll break it all down in this video. Be sure to drop a like in the video, subscribe if you're new, but first off here today, is the Season 5 Reloaded update Supreme Resurgence on Rebirth Island, a cell shaded MP map called Ink House, okay. MW3 modes like Cyber Attack, Fish Fiction, the final Modern Warfare 3 Zombies story mission, which I'll talk about probably in a future video. But a lot of people are saying here, why is the update over 100 gigabytes? Kind of crazy stuff here. 92 gigs on Xbox, six hours to download, I guess he's saying. 100 gigabyte update again. But it's all because of the preparation for the Black Ops 6 beta. In essence, you're partly downloading the files for the Black Ops 6 beta right now. So here's exactly what's happening. Today, August 21st, is the big update game file reorganization, separating Warzone from the default download for annual titles and implementing new texture streaming tech. So to break this down here, separating Warzone first off to give players more control over what they're downloading, we are decoupling the download of Warzone from other titles. When you purchase an annual title, you will only download the files for the game by default, whatever game you're buying. So for BO6, you're only downloading BO6. You're not downloading Warzone as well unless you want to. So of course you could uh, opt in if you're on the free to play side to get Warzone when they're downloading a new annual title or simply download it separately at any future point in time. So uh, again, for new players, for obviously for us, we've been playing Call of Duty for a while now, probably when maybe you just got it this year, you already have the files downloaded so it's not really a big deal but if you're a new player and let's say black ops 6 is your first ever call of duty you don't have to also download all the extra files and warzone as well if you don't want to play that stuff so it's going to be up front a much smaller download size which is cool also here expanded texture streaming technologies and part of an ongoing effort to reduce file and download sizes we're expanding our usage of texture streaming starting with the season 5 reloaded update today with these capabilities we could cycle content that is less frequently used by players to a streaming cache, avoiding the need to download it directly to your device's storage. Going forward, more content will be included in this cache. With this change, you may see older content that briefly appears at a lower quality until the streaming cache has fully loaded. The resolution of content streamed from the cache will depend on what setting you select for this feature. To capture this change and give players more control over their content streaming experience, we are updating the current on-demand texture streaming setting to on-demand high quality streaming and offering two options optimize content appears at a high fidelity graphical quality increase internet bandwidth usage or minimal content appears at reduced graphical quality lower internet bandwidth usage so this is definitely good for storage issues but you know overall streaming the content or some of the content from the cache seems to be not the best way to get the best quality of course if you have a super good pc and you want the highest fps and graphics as you possibly can then you wouldn't really want to do any of this streaming to the cashier but if you're on maybe a you know console or a, a smaller pc or a less capable pc i guess that is what i'm trying to say here this is definitely going to be beneficial to you but for most people i wouldn't say it's a big deal. Well, I don't know. A lot of people don't have really good PCs. So it depends on your situation, of course. Definitely look into that, into the settings, if that makes sense there. But this is for everyone. This is a huge change here. This is also going to be tying into the Black Ops 6 beta as well. Download sizes and experience. So this is where you come in, where most players are involved here. The process begins with a download, a big one. And that's today's 100 gigabyte update. But downloading now will pave the way over the next several weeks and ultimately lead to a better experience when... Black Ops 6 arrives. This initial download will not permanently add the stated file size to the storage space that Call of Duty takes up on your device. So the update is just reorganizing game files and adding new tech to prep the way for the full player interface for October, right when Black Ops 6 releases. So once complete, Call of Duty's footprint will decrease due to these file optimizations. So an initial large update but that will be you know greatly decreased when it's all in the game ps5 players will acquire this update via four separate downloads this initial download will be similar to other updates that are needed before booting up call of duty the next update will be triggered within the call of duty experience a download when first accessing modern warfare 3 or warzone and the second update when that's downloaded there will be another download when accessing mw3 and a file update when accessing warzone okay so a lot of separate updates there ps5 has to do that for a certain reason okay 
uh, players on other platforms will download it all in a single download. So that's that there for this, um, you know, minor issue. And that's not really an issue, but just this minor inconvenience. They're giving us double XP, double up in XP, and battle pass tokens as well, which is cool. And of course, again, this ties into the BO6 beta. Of course, that's going to start on August 30th, but there's separate downloads if you have Season 5 Reload. So today's a big deal. If you're not downloading the Season 5 Reloaded update, you're partly not downloading the Black Ops 6 beta. So for players that have Call of Duty and have the Season 5 Reloaded update downloaded, the final BO6 beta sizes, the file sizes where you're going to download that uh, two days before the beta comes out are a lot smaller, right? So for PS5, it's a 34 gig download. PS4, 15 gig. Xbox Series X and S, 35 gigs. Xbox One 17, Battle.net 32, Steam 32, and Microsoft Store 29. So that's if you have Call of Duty right now and you're downloading today's update. The additional final, you know, beta download that we have to get a couple days before that comes out is a lot smaller. But if you don't have COD and you don't have today's update downloaded, it's of course a bigger update here. You're downloading a lot more in a, a week or so when the beta comes out. So for PS5, it's 80 gigs. PS4, 67 gigs, Xbox Series X and S, 75 gigs, Xbox One, 52 gigs, Battle.net, 74 gigs, Steam, 66 gigs, Microsoft Store, 68 gigs, so it's practically an entire game because you're downloading all that extra stuff, the optimization and the BO6 beta as well, so again, make sure, obviously by the time the beta comes out, most of us, if we have Call of Duty right now, we're probably going to get all of our updates downloaded regardless, right, but if you want to be super ready to play the beta as soon as possible get everything updated today the first rounds of updates are going live right now it's a large update but it'll reorganize everything get us ready for the bo6 beta and that's that so i'll break down more black ops 6 beta download information in future videos over the next couple of days here but pretty exciting stuff man of course again for ps5 check the manage install files in the call of duty app to find and re-download mw3 and warzone if you do want to go back in and play all of that content right now of course, again, we have one week until the COD next event, August 28th at 12 p.m. Eastern. I'll be streaming on this channel, reacting to the content, breaking it all down live. Black Ops 6 MP beta, first-person gameplay, Liberty Falls, Zombies map, and Warzone stuff as well. Can't wait for that. And again, two days later on August 30th is the Black Ops 6 beta. Crazy stuff there. So that's that. Uh, we have some campaign stuff there. I do want to mention some competitive COD uh, updates here. Abuza, which was a player for the Seattle Surge or now the Vancouver Surge is not a free agent so people thought he was a free agent which means that he could go accept offers from other teams abuza is a great player i could easily see other teams wanting him for a new like flex ar role and there's a lot of those opening up it seems like now a lot of teams are going to be making roster changes but he's not a free agent and if a team wants him they're gonna have to buy him out pay a lot of money uh but if we know if you know seattle they like to hold their players they held pred during the mw2 season optic wanted to buy him for almost a million dollars right and seattle said no we're keeping him so with abuza here i could easily see surge saying we are not selling him no matter what we're actually going to build around abuza um so it is what it is there but abuza great player came in to see what he does next year and also a lot of teams a lot of orgs from the cwl days coming back to cod so hype fanatic short-lived stint on iw i think but still an og brand gen g as well of course you guys probably remember gen g if you were around during like the uh, bo4 days right but they're gonna be replacing the carolina rural ravens and the la gorillas hopefully these teams that come in they actually provide a bit more support host events give players decent salaries and not do the bare minimum like a lot of these other teams were doing vegas legion lag the royal ravens didn't really do much for the scene it didn't help the scene out it's unfortunate man but hopefully these teams returning like tsm might return as well which is crazy or get added to the call of duty league but regardless um however it happens having these orgs that not just they were around in the past but even if they're a new org like the uh, team falcons for the saudi arabian team they're a new org right to the call of duty scene but if they actually provide some support and funding and really want the league to grow then that's the W for sure. So hopefully we see more of that. I'll be updating you guys on more comp COD stuff over the next couple of weeks and months here as we get closer to the next season of the Black Ops 6 Competitive League. But for now, that's here for this video. Subscribe for more COD update videos like this. Shout out to you for GM if you need cheap COD points and other rare unlock codes in Call of Duty. A bunch of stuff over there. Use code Matt for an extra 5% off. Links are down below. Shout out to the YouTube members as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.